Hello, and welcome to my nail studio. If you watched my video from last time where I did my nails extra, 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 extra long, I think it's like 5XL extendos. Um, yeah, I cut them down so I could like do things. So first impression was good. It came exactly the how I thought it would, um, which is a good thing because a lot of times I get boxes all, all beat up or the nails be all over the place, but yeah. The box came exactly as advertised and I was surprised to find that there is glue because you know, reading is fundamental, but I was not reading so I didn't know it came with glue. At first I thought it was like gel glue or something, but it's just regular brush on glue. I don't use brush on glue so I won't be using that. <laughs> but yeah, and I was comparing it to my Mad Cart glue, same formula, same viscosity. So it's just basically the same thing, just different names and different bottles. Yeah. So on to the nails. Um, these are supposed to be high quality, no crease acrylic material nails, 500 tips, large capacity, 10 sizes, 50 pieces per size, and they're supposed to be the perfect shape and easy to apply. Um, I will make sure that I insert the link to this product in my description box. But yeah, when I try to close the box just now, one of the nails got in the way and was creased. And it seems like every time I try to close this box, a nail gets in the way of closing it. So I don't know what that's about, but um, after I just, you know, Showing y'all the thickness of the nail. I noticed that the nail went back to its normal shape and the crease was gone. So no harm, no foul, right? And I'm just like blah, blah, blah about the thickness of my nails. My nails were extremely thick because my nails were extremely long, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And of course, you gotta layer that acrylic on so it doesn't break. But back to the press on. So this is the reason why I bought it because a woman in the reviews on Amazon um, took a picture of the nail and I was like, yes, this is exactly what I needed. Nails that last long when you are rough on your hands. And that is what she said they are good for. They was like, buy these nails because they're good for when you're rough on your hands and they last a long time and they're really thick and sturdy. And I was like, okay, wonderful, add to cart. So then right here, I'm showing you the side. It has like a little, a gentle apex. So it's not really flat and it's not like too harsh of an apex. Cause I have noticed in my extensive press on nail research that a lot of people were complaining that apexes were too high. So like when you try to glue it on, it doesn't stick to the nail bed. Why? Because nothing's there to stick to it. It's just a high arch and people can't glue their nails on, which suck. So that's why I also went for this um, particular brand because no one in the review section complained about the arch being too high to glue to their nail bed. So when you are researching full cover tips, make sure you look out for that. So right now I'm just sorting out the sizes. I'm making my best friend some nails. She wanted like these um, they call it nut white, which is very inappropriate. But yeah, she wanted some nails like that. I'll insert it later. But right here, I'm just, you know, filing and buffing the nails. So I use my Pana 8080 grit to uh, file the free edge to get those plastic um, things off the tip of the free edge. And then I'm using my e-file on the lowest rotation possible, filing the nail so when I put the foundation and polish on, it has grip because nobody wants to be wearing their nails and the polish just peels off. Like we don't want that. So we need some sort of grip. Just like how you would when you wear natural nails and you're putting like gel polish on, you want to buff the nail so that it can not only get rid of that lust that's on the nail because you're basically just giving the polish some sort of grip something to hold on to while you're wearing it and 
and I'm just using the lowest rotation possible so I don't break or chip the nail. So right here, I have already used my mounting putty and put the nails on the peg and I'm just applying a very thin layer of foundation. I mean, you don't have to use foundation, but I use foundation. Some people might find that both steps, buffing the nail and putting the foundation on is just extra, but I find that, you know, it's better safe than sorry. So not only if I'm giving my nail something to grip onto, but I'm also giving it a background coat so that, you know, it could, it can increase the longevity of the nail because nobody wants a nail that doesn't last long. That's the whole point of wearing press on nails. You want it to last too. Like you just don't want to just wear them and pop them off. You want them to be worn like if you would wear a acrylic nail. That is what we're doing. So I'm putting in very thin coats because that's what it says on the instructions. I follow the instructions on all of my um, gel polish brands. When they tell me to put it under the lamp for 120 seconds, Hell, I put it under there for 180 seconds just to make sure. Just to make sure. Make sure that you just, you know, follow the directions. Like they say, put a very thin coat. Put a very thin coat. So right here, I'm just showing y'all the two different whites that I have. I have like this um, translucent white, which is what she requested. Like this type of translucent white situation. The other one's like a creamy white. So we don't want that because it's too opaque. But as I was saying before about the thin coats, it also helps to put thin coats because when you put too much on the nail, not only does it run to the side, it also makes the nail, it messes up the shape of the nail. So you see how these are square and it's all perfectly squared and stuff. It wouldn't look as perfectly square. It looked like a, it looked like a squovo or something if you were to put too much polish on the nail it wouldn't come out as smooth. And also, it'll come out all lumpy and shit if you put too much polish on the nail. And it also will be harder for you to cure them because why? It's so many layers of polish on your nail. So yeah, make sure you just use very thin coats. And so now I'm doing a second layer on both of the hands and carry them for like 140 to 180 seconds. And then I was trying to do like an experiment making like a little marble action here using my Amelie Blooming Gel. But I didn't really like how I looked because the marble was too discreet for me. So I used some acetone on a bounty picker upper and I just wiped it off real quick. And then I'm gonna go in and put on my top coat. I use the top coat and foundation from Beatles only because not only is that the best one that they have on Amazon and the most affordable for me, but I just been using that since I started and I've never had a problem with this brand. So if y'all if y'all looking for somebody to sponsor, you know, I got all of y'all products and collections. Let me know. So yeah, I'm just going in with a thin layer of my Beatles top coat. And I made sure I get all the sides. Like, I don't even want to miss the sides. I'm getting the free edge. I'm getting the part where the cuticle at. But I'm also making sure I don't get nothing underneath the nail. So I'm just like taking my time. Like it's of course it's sped up, but I'm taking my time, y'all. So yeah, I cured those and I'm just testing to see if they're completely cured. And now I'm just looking at the finished product here. I'm just, you know, making sure that I like what I see. Of course, you can see the mounting putty through the nails. That's just how, um, I wouldn't say they're translucent, but transparent they are. But when the client puts them on, of course, it's not gonna show their nail bed color or anything. It's just that this is a very dark colored putty. So yeah, I'm just checking them out. Like I always make sure I thoroughly examine my nails before I package them. 
And then I'm also going back and re-curing them to make sure that they are cured properly before I package them. I also went ahead and cleaned up the free edge. So now I am going to go ahead and package them. I'm putting them in from thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky. So this is me packaging them. I put my little business card on the back. And I'm gonna seal it. And that's the finished product, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.